Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Look, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Why were you at Gyeongchalso? Did she vlog the police station? She said yes. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm gonna fucking go nuts or something. <laughs> 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 I was so shocked. I'm sweating. <laughs> I ain't gonna play games with ya, girl. Honest, okay, here's a tip for if you're in Korea, okay? Everyone says it's so dry here, so I prepared myself. I double up on everything. Double pumps, moisturizer, double everything. But I also use my nighttime hydrating serum in the morning as well. her period coming while I'm talking and then I checked my little manual paper period tracker because I don't do the digital stuff anymore because you know why and uh, I'm actually like a day late I can I just say something I was a bit nervous I was gonna start my period during the wedding photo shoot see I'm gonna have my period during the wedding photo shoot but I really don't like the idea of starting it because if I'm not prepared for it what if I just end up bleeding on one of the dresses but if I've got my little menstrual cup in no leakage girl like nothing's happening I mean I don't even mind bleeding that day because it's gotten so much easier here let me show you how compact this is let me just show you how I pack this for my trip because it's absolutely insane so you have this little travel pouch that it comes in you just get this little thing there's two sizes here the b cup so these are for like heavier flows and it's like a funnel it just pops out this is your menstrual cup just like that so compact i love the casing of it i love how easily you can just throw this into your purse so here you've got the ziggy cup 2 size b so these are for like heavier flows genuinely ever since i switched to menstrual cups it's been kind of life-changing and i love intamina because of how soft it is i love how flexible they are it's so easy to insert and take out and my favorite part is everything is made out of medical grade silicone the main reason that i even got into menstrual cups to begin with is because i started going down the rabbit hole of how many chemicals how many weird stuff are on tons of pads and tampons on the market but not only that these are a lot more sustainable okay if i'm being honest i was a little bit scared because i thought it was gonna be intense i thought the adjustment period for menstrual cups was gonna be a lot but i actually really like it so it's super easy to travel it collapses you got these cute little carrying cases it's easy to clean you just boil it in some water medical grade silicone i just like the peace of mind of menstrual cups too because i never really ever leak using a menstrual cup you could literally run and jump around the worst thing about being on your period when you're traveling is that you feel like you're being tied down you feel like oh i gotta go to the find a public restroom somewhere nowadays when i have my period i just need my intamina menstrual cups a chocolate bar and like a good wireless support bra if you've never tried menstrual cups give it a try i love intamina i've been using them for a while i like their design i like the flexibility i like how it just feels so secure so make sure to check out intamina using the link in my description and with that let's go eat my heart out at the convenience store and thank you intamina for sponsoring today's video okay i got ready for the penny gym i was doing some computer work i can't believe it's finally happening this wasn't even a vlog that i was prepping but you know what i am so upset about the non peony jump streak that we've been going on so i'm making it a whole vlog i said babe you can't convince me otherwise because the vlog title is today eating at a penny jump for 24 hours but like, yeah are you so, gonna be sick again though no i'm not gonna be sick again it's freaking freezing outside i think i need to go out and buy a jacket later today if i have time because i have never been so cold in my life the funny thing is i checked the weather i knew the weather coming in and in my head i was like i I'm a New Yorker. I've been there for two whole weeks now in New York City. I can handle ice, snow, hail, freezing cold weather's got nothing on me anymore. And I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm like the coldest out of the group. I've never been this cold in my entire life. I jacked my fiance's velvety looking hoodie thing. It's pretty warm. And these are also his pants. I mainly like well yesterday. Let's go to the penny jam. I have a couple of penny jam hacks that I want to try for breakfast. And then I got to save some room for my stomach for lunch. And then dinner, I'm thinking we go to a crazy penny jam, like a supermarket penny jam. Ah! Finally sunny. Ah! It's been so smoggy, foggy, rainy for like the past couple of days. I'm going to every single Starbucks in the area because Tiffany said she loves 
collecting Starbucks cups. Okay, they have like these mini ones. Don't buy so much stuff. See, I shouldn't have called her. She's telling me to stop spending money. Okay, I'm gonna buy it all. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, they have a whole tiramisu. They have a boba cake. Oh, that looks so good. I'm checking out right now. Oh my god, they have a probiotic shake, honey. It was 130,000 won. I just spent $100 on cups. It's here. It's here in the cutest little building. Oh my gosh. But how do I even get in there? How do I get in there? How do I get in there? I'm so dumb. There's literally a sign entrance. Will you open the amazing? Ready, are you guys ready for this, honey? It's not as big as I thought. <laughs> Okay guys, I went to the first 7-Eleven and I thought it was way too small and I did not wait three days to come to my tiny little place. So I found the bigger one. So we're gonna eat here. They have all the microwave setups. They've got a little bank situation. Delivery igloo? I don't know what that is, but that's so cool. Hi! Is there a hair in my eye? Oh. Let me show you some of the snacks they have. What are these? Gourmet truffle mustard? Oh, I'm getting that. And it's buy two, get one free. I need to get some snacks because every morning we wake up at five in the morning because of our schedule change and we all sit there looking around the hotel for free things to eat. We're like, what is this crumb? We eat the crumb. I used to grow up eating these, but they have these back at home, so we're not gonna get those. This is Sophie's favorite little cartoon. I'm gonna get her these. They're little jellies. I'm gonna get your sister one of these targonas of the perverted. <laughs> perverted boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are vitamin C. They like really make everything look so yummy. Oh, this is the brand of eggs. Is this the one that you ate yesterday? No, I had a different one yesterday, but this is the one I remember from many years ago. So they said to get some of these sausages. You can actually throw it into ramen if you're gonna make it, or this pure sweet potato. Should we get one of these and stick it in a ramen or something? Oh yeah. Oh my God, it's tiny little eggs. Yes. For the ramen. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Oh my God, they have corn cheese. Oh my God. <gasps> this is pumpkin. Oh my God. They have some the nuclear tuna mayo. Oh my gosh, one or two. Ooh, this what? A burger. Oh yeah. my god, that looks good. Does it not look so appetizing? A freaking burger in a bag? Come on now. This is huge. It is huge. They don't have smaller ones. Okay, grab an ice. You grab a milk. And then you grab your favorite coffee and you mix the iced vanilla Americano. This looks so good. Let me tell you guys, this was all $35, and most of it isn't even for one meal. Like, we're bringing these back. I'm gonna take out everything that we're eating for breakfast. This is a corn cheese that we got. We have a little mini kimchi, a potato salad. Okay, let me just take out everything. You get the ice. This is Stephanie's dream. I'm here to drink the 7 Eleven latte. <laughs> this is the happiest I've been my whole trip. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that good. <laughs> Bro, you're too dramatic. It's okay. It's so good. Mm. It's basically just a strawberry milk at this point and not an ice coffee. I love Korea. We're gonna eat one ramen. We've got an odenku. We've got a cheese. The burger in the bag. This oh, is kind this. of a shit show. Grab this. Okay, this. Grab this. I'll grab this. Uh, okay. Which one should we start? My burger. Oh, so excited. Do I open it or no? Let me read it for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were gonna read it. You open it a little bit. You do 40 seconds. This one looks like serious. Oh, it's ready. My burger's ready. Oh Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. Oh. It's so soft. Can we eat it? Can we eat that first? Can we eat it? Can we eat it? Can, can we get one of these then? Yes. Like just that yes. just looks. Does it not look so appetizing? That does look actually pretty. Oh my god, it's 
A freaking burger in a bag? Come on now. This is what I'm excited about. What is that? The burger in the bag. Oh my god. The burger in the bag, Oma. Yeah. Spicy. Does it not look so good? My burger. Yes. Oh, so excited. Oh, it's ready. My burger's ready. Six out of ten. Six out of ten? Yeah. There's two microwaves. I will be in charge of the olden cook. You make this. They have a hot water machine. The making of the ramen. Don't forget this to the olden. Open it till about here. Yeah. And we do 20 seconds. On to the dumplings. Two minutes and 20 seconds. I'm throwing in some kimchi. Oh my god, you're like going all out. How's the kimchi? <laughs> you don't even like kimchi Holy like moly. that. Oh, it's so fresh and crunchy. <laughs> oh my Holy freaking moly. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Come here, give me those hands. She's about to shred some cheese, so I gotta really. Okay, the Korean trash system is very confusing. So they have cans, bottles, and pets. So I guess Mingo and Tiger can go in there. And then this is regular trash, hot water. To the line. Caution, very hot. Little, little things. Oh. Close it, I'm so excited. This is a whole feast. I'm gonna start with the cold items. This is the potato salad. And then my mom's just dying on the side, and I'm just eating a potato salad. My mom said she ate a luxurious <laughs> hotel breakfast and doesn't want to eat. Something. Oh my god. You know what piwane means? It means exhausting, okay? Korea's delivery system is exhausting. I'm just trying to order some things because you know me. I want to eat everything I can get my hands on. And it's so freaking difficult. So, oh yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. <sighs> just really distracted myself with that. What was I doing? I got $500. I got an big one. This is how crazy customer service is in Korea. I told my mom to ask the woman at the front what to do with this raw egg because I didn't want to throw it away. We didn't use the raw egg, but I didn't want to also like do anything with it. So I asked because we can't bring it back to the hotel. What are we going to do with a raw egg? And she gives it to the lady and the lady tells her, oh, we can refund you. And my mom was like, no, no, no it's okay. Like we just didn't know what to do with it. Like we don't need a refund for it. And then she insisted that we get a refund and gave us big one, which means a carton of eggs would be how much? Six dollars? I guess egg inflation is real everywhere, right? I brought me home an iced cup because I looked at the, the room service menu and iced coffee here is 17 US dollars. Meanwhile, they have a free espresso machine just sitting in the little Nespresso thingy right there. So I thought I'm gonna be real cheeky. I'm gonna be real goofy. This is my second coffee of the day. What? <laughs> what? Easy, easy. I really need this after that ramen. I'm so sleepy. 
after that, we went to our fitting for our wedding photo shoot, which you guys are gonna see in tomorrow's vlog. But on our way out of the wedding photo shoot, we kind of got stuck in this little alleyway and our taxi driver slash Ajoshi was cursing, sweating, like he was freaking out. If he wasn't kind of cute, I thought that he would probably kill us. It was intense. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Remember the last time we came to um came Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Your dad's car is like stuck yeah. in the alleyway. Yeah. We're stuck. What happened? We gotta watch from here. Keso go say Okay, okay, okay. De, oh, de. Wow. <laughs> You're not supposed to tip in Korean culture because it can be offensive But he heard us speaking English the whole ride and he was so stressed He was literally sweating the whole ride even towards the end of the ride I saw him keep swiping his sweat on his forehead. Oh my god and it was 27,000 and I gave him 50,000 and I told him to just keep the rest. I was like this man is stressed for days oh, What was, was he saying time. in the car the whole time? What was, was he like, saying? What is wrong with these roads? Like they need to make these roads better. Oh my god, I'm sweating So he was, it was like a Korean Ajashi's rant. Yeah, it was just kind of like cute Like you know when my mom is ranting about something, it's kind of like endearing. Oh, he seems sounds real aggressive <laughs> and where are we? This is a random cafe that I didn't even heart on TikTok or anything because Korea is so cool. You can walk anywhere and find such cool, different aesthetics. Like, what even is this? I don't know. That's so fun, though. So apparently, this market is owned by SK, which I don't feel like I've talked a lot about. So it's such a cute little quiet market. I have to say, yes, these carts are so easy to move. Yeah, and they look kind of fun, so ergonomic. Easy. These are what I was. Talking about, I'm gonna get one because each box is how much? Like $14. And I heard these are really good. Like these packaged fruits, I wanna try them because I heard they're just untouchable. These are the grapes. I know you're gonna say they have them at the hotel, they're not the same. They're not the same. These grapes are, how much are they? So they're $25. Yes. So get the prettiest one. Oh my god. I'm so excited for these grapes. <laughs> this is what I want, but I don't have a cutting board in the hotel. It's a $60 watermelon that people give as hostess gifts. That's what I heard in Korea. You bring fruit. Oh my god, that's a mango! It's like a wrapped up like a baby. That's like a fetus right there. It's a $10. <gasps> $10 mango. These you know, are fruits insane. are so expensive here. Yeah. It's like the best gift you can give someone, yeah. huh? And that's why even in the US, I feel like everyone gives fruit boxes. Like very expensive fruit boxes that you get at Asian markets. Oh, these are boiled eggs. <laughs> Look at these juices. Are these not insane? Green plum syrup, pineapple vinegar. What is that? <gasps> what is that? I'm sorry, but Erewhon's got nothing on this Korean market right now. That's true. <laughs> it's kind of insane. That is true. Yeah, like the way that they even just package things is kind of out of this world. And then they have a whole seafood See, section. That's where those Korean mafires be getting these seafood. <laughs> well, they're really pricey. It's like $40 for that. What are you kidding me? What is going on right now? Oh what are these? They are huge. Where am I? Are they alive or not? I can't tell. Yeah, I think he just blinked at you. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like a museum. I feel like I shouldn't be able to touch anything. It got sold, okay? Because they said this is good for my mom. On, <laughs> if it's good for my mother, I'm taking it. Here's something about these markets so you gotta move quick because you never know when a sales lady is gonna jump out at you, okay? I made the mistake of staring at the tofu section for too long. I got harassed. 
Should we just talk about the fact that they're charging 15,000 won for a bottle of Tabasco? Damn, we're getting hustled here. Yeah. This is the most ridiculous thing ever, so we're timing it with my mom. We're about to head back to the hotel and we're gonna go to a convenience store. My mom's trying to head back to the hotel and she goes, so it's dark out and I got scared, so I came to the nearest police station and I'm inside waiting, so call the taxi to the police station. <laughs> You're kidding me. Wow, nighttime is a vibe. Wow. We gotta head up, go out one night. And like what clock? I can never. She literally just walked in. Yeah, she said she found it, and she's sitting in a and she's station. using it as a, a rest, personal a rest station. <laughs> Taxi waiting room. I literally cannot ever predict my mom. So this full-grown Korean mother is just in there with a bunch of shopping bags. What is going <laughs> on? Mama, explain yourself. Why were you at Gyeongchal Seoul? Let me just explain what happened. I was given the wrong address to where my mom was. We had to cancel the taxi. It's a long story, but what happened was we had to go to the front desk, the lobby at this hotel, and tell them exactly what was going on and ask them to call a taxi for her. And he looks me dead in the eye and goes, "이거 which means, uh, are you picking someone up from the police station? <laughs> Oh my, I'm so chimpy, I almost died. I'm so embarrassed, I almost gagged. And I tried to save it by going like this. Oh my god, my mom was so scared. So she went to the police station. And now she's in jail. <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> my mom said she went to the police station because it's easier to find, so. So how, did she vlog the police station? Vlog yes, so? She said yes. Ah! She's so shy, she couldn't do a lot. Because she's gonna get arrested. <laughs> what you doing, Mega, huh? This is all she got is the reception desk uh, at the police station. I'm asking her to guess the price of the photo. 3,000. 3,000. 땅 맞았어? 땅 맞았어. Wow. My mom is so excited, she guessed it perfectly. 30,000 won. I'm so excited to try those. 엄마, 이 딸기는 얼마에? 25,000 won. Iman on. Wow, okay. We're gonna try huh? these, yeah. Come on, you can't ask a Korean Ajima how much is Ajima. Food. Ajima. <laughs> Ajima. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't get that anything exciting. I genuinely thought this was gonna be like my Penny Jim haul, but it, it just wasn't. I feel like everything there was so expensive. I just wanted to get the fruit because I heard so much about Korean mm. fruit. Let's go wash the fruit <laughs> in the hotel bathroom. Nasty, that's <laughs> disgusting. said she's so hungry she brought out all the works we've got my eggs that i'm so excited about all the triangle king pops. my mom washed the grapes honey oh yeah sure. what's up with that it's like a ball sack it's not sour but it's so mushy mm. she said the hotel mm. grapes are better what? Let me try this. Try it. You might like it because it's not sour at all, but we like the crunchy exterior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, maybe you guys just not born for this life. <laughs> She's choking on money. My mom keeps dying in the background and I keep vlogging the people. <laughs> These are the raspberries. I've never seen raspberries that look like this. They <laughs> she keeps dying. These are $20 raspberries. I think I just have cheap taste. Kinda has an herbal medicine kick at the end. Okay, let me describe the taste for you. It tastes like the texture when you peel a clementine and you peel the individual wrap and you get little kernels of it. You get an orange and you peel off the layer, the membrane, in one slice, like a clementine. Okay, this is a slice of clementine, like this. Yes. You know yeah. how you can take off the cover? And then that part, you can break it into tiny little spur looking things. Because I'm really working on my descriptions. Okay. They, they break apart. The anatomy of the clementine, you don't know what I'm talking about. And then it feels like a bunch of those connected into one, yeah. but it almost has an herby taste at the end. Or is that just soil? <laughs> but am I right about the texture? Am I right oh, about the herby taste? It's giving herbal medicine. <laughs> yes, but what about the texture? Am texture, I, yes, yes, yes. I'm correct on the texture? You're correct. 
So I'm telling you, I'm getting good at these descriptions, guys. Show you how a Korean mother cuts fruit. She's actually not good at cutting fruit, I think. <laughs> and while she cuts the fruit, I'm gonna be a useless daughter on the side, and I'm gonna open my black crescent. It's a gimmick. Um, mm. you like it? It's chewy. Did you vlog? Oh my. <laughs> you said you were gonna vlog. What did you say? I didn't know The store is that big. Really, <laughs> 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 so small. You can't even take a picture. So, Oma, do you feel like you have more respect for Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> she said I didn't vlog. But as if people were not so loud today, I could have vlogged. She said, I could have done it. Yeah. I watched you guys do it so many times, I could have vlogged. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's vlog should be just be Oma took over. <laughs> <laughs> so Oma, when you walk into the police station, did they ask you what you're doing here? <laughs> she walked in and she goes, um, my daughter is calling me a taxi. Can I get the address? And then they give it to her and she goes, I'm scared and it's cold outside. Can I wait here for the taxi? <laughs> she played the Musoku Chuko, which is I'm scared and it's cold. <laughs> what are they gonna do? No, I drew my kid out. <laughs> and she's sitting in the little waiting room. Hangukyongchari Musawa, Migu Kyongchari Musawa. Migu Kyongchari Musawa. I said, Are Korean police scary or American police? And she said, American police. But the body is not scary. No, it's just scary. Oh, I said it's because there's a language barrier. And she said, No. American police are just scary. How's that? You can't see me on so good. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, my mom says he's not even intrigued by our story. He's so focused on this egg, you guys. I gotta I play her the fucking video. <laughs> oh my god, this Harabuji is like really upset. What? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go nuts or something. Like, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, I'm trying not to Like, I was so shocked I'm sweating. Scream his car yes, or something. Oh yes. my god, he was so bad. And like, I can tell he really prides his car, and that's why I wanted to tip him more because as we were driving on the main street at a red light, he took out a handkerchief and was wiping his like windshield. Oh. And so I'm like, oh my god, like this guy was really so stressed. Oh, he was old. He was like yeah. early 60s. Wow, that was honestly the highlight of my day, Harabaji. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am Beat. I am actually feeling good. This is like the first day in Korea that I've been feeling really good Which is my sneaking suspicion that it's been a throat infection because I did the saltwater rinses and I've been fine since then. I'll see you guys tomorrow oh.